First thing I like to do in iMovie is if I want to keep things neat and not mix up my projects, you can go in here and click New Library, and I'll get a chance to label it. So I would label this actually literally the name of my project. So my project is iMovie Tutorial. And you can choose where it will go. And that's another thing. You can use this to, if you're uh, recording to a different drive, this allows you to do that. Anyway, we're going to create one. It'll be right beside the other one there, the, the default one. And I'll click Save. So there you go. So now if I go here and I go Open Library, there's the original library. And there is the iMovie Tutorial. And if you look down here, there's two libraries, right? So I'll highlight that one. And then we can import some media. Okay, so I'm going to import some media. And we'll go to the desktop, video, and we are going to bring in all these clips. And hopefully they're going to go to iMovie. Now, when iMovie brings them in, the reason I stuck it on my desktop is because iMovie brings them into its library and makes a copy anyway. So, huh, that'll give us something to play with there. Okay, so now we want to create a new movie. And it's iMovie Tutorial. How convenient. Say OK. So now we have our timeline here. And I don't know if these are in the order I shot them. I did a movie something like this once before. I just drag that in. Change the size of this. And I'll bring that guy in. And then I want the Coffee Cultures one. And you can see right here there's orange lines wherever I've already brought something in. Now I'll bring that in there, and that was me driving, 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 driving. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Okay, there we go. So we have something like that. I want that about there. That's a little bit boring, eh? Move this here. Okay, so we're going to start that clip there. Can't really see what. Control B. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. Okay, I, I take all this stuff back. I'm going to put that there. We're going to really just watch this and see. Okay, so that's boring. So we'll break it up, and we'll put another break there, delete that. No. And then we're just going to wait till we're all the way around the corner while we're in the middle of the turn. Try that. And then um, cut that. Someone will uh, already be able to assume what that we went around the corner. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Okay. So we're coming up along like that. Uh, a little bit more. I want a little bit more of that. And I'll just look and see how much time is there, right? So you spend a similar amount of time. And then we're driving along. Actually, I'll kind of like that. I want to start there. I'm going to get rid of that. And get rid of that. So that's not bad. Okay, there, so you got the idea. So then we'll take these clips and we'll kind of 
stick them over top of the transitions here so they don't look like jump cuts. And we'll put that one there. And no. We'll put that one there. And we'll fade out. We'll just lose that one. That one won't do anything. Okay. And you can um you can drag these wave uh the audio track volume down just by grabbing that line. Boom. Beta boom. Oh, that's it. Okay. We could turn all that off. There you go. Now you have a nice silent movie. And um okay, so now that we're here we could do some transitions. when he remembers how to do his transitions. There's a nice transition. So I often like to do, um, I like to start off with a blur. It makes a nice slow start to the movie. Oh, I think I can, I can use this arrow here and I can get a, a nice cross dissolve happening anyway. See, there you go. And I'll do one there right away. And then I'll overlap this a little bit more and I'll make a nice long, nice long fade. Yeah, I like that, that's pretty cool. And then I could even shorten this up a little bit, eh? And then that is going to fade out to nothing. So now you see we have a 36-second feature film. And I'm obviously joking when I say that. And we can sort our songs. Go to sound effects. Go to sound effects. There they are. Okay, and there's an arrow there, so there they might be in order, but now they're in order for sure. There we go. So they're getting bigger the way I sorted it. So now I want to go to find something that's 36 seconds long. That's part of the iMovie. If you have your own tracks, that is even better. Swing City Long. Let's drop it in the timeline here and see what happens. Maybe we'll... There we go. I like to turn these down. Or you can click on the audio button here and you can adjust it a little bit more um, closer to how you want. There you go. Now it has so much more flow because there's uh, one continuous soundtrack all the way underneath. Okay, so let's stop that. Now, uh, my buddy was asking me about titles, right? So, um, well, let's, let's go all out and throw this fancy uh, title. So I can double click there and we will go swing city and that's just um uh i movie tutorial there we go okay and at the end of all my videos i like to put thanks for watching you can see when you ha put your uh, mouse over here, you can see a little preview. That's nice. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to do that one. You can pick anyone you want. Okay. Then, thanks for watching.
Exclamation. I don't need to fade to black because it's going to fade to black because of this already anyway. So, here's our movie. Now that was by accident, that coffee cultures came up on a nice uh, transition in the music. That, that was just called luck, but if I was paying more time, I might try to make that happen. Title text here, what happened? <laughs> what happened to my, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, exclamation mark. Maybe I didn't hit enter. Enter? There. Enter. There we go. And um, sometimes, put the cursor here, double click there, or there. And if you want to change the text, I often like to click there, and then I click the dropper, and then I take the dropper over to my video, and I find a nice friendly color. I'll hit enter again to confirm it, and uh, that way I get color that matches my screen. So we could do the same thing here. Highlight that, click the square, grab the dropper. Let's make it in a nice weird color. Make it a little bit brighter maybe. Hit the enter key, don't forget. Um, sometimes you can move them and sometimes you can't in iMovie. Not terribly friendly that way. Yeah, but the background's moving anyway, so that won't be a problem. Okay, so that gives you a quick little um, look at what you can do in iMovie, which is quite a lot. Thanks for watching.